Well, thank you very much. This is a very proud day, and I'm thrilled to stand here and welcome Team USA to the White House. Great job. Thank you very much. What a job. So two months ago, America sent each of you to the Winter Olympics to represent the red, white, and blue. And you did an awfully good job of doing it, I will tell you. I think she's more famous than I am. <laughs> Great job. You performed, and you made us very proud. And many of you came home as champions, wearing a bronze, silver, or a gold medal. And you had very big crowds. And I have to say, without certain backing, those crowds were not looking good. But all of a sudden, those crowds got very, very big, very powerful, and it became a very, very successful Olympics, aside from everything else. Uh, they uh, had a lot more people show up than they thought. And you think you know why, right? But a lot of good things are happening right now over there, literally as we speak. And the Olympics really helped to bring it all together. It was a big help. So just in that respect, it was something very terrific. Through sheer drive and dedication and commitment, you've risen to the top of your fields and the highest levels of your sports. You overcame setbacks, you powered through obstacles, and you never, ever quit. Do we have any quitters here? Any, raise your hand, please. All right, because I was going to say, get the hell out of here. No quitters in this group, huh? I had a feeling. I had a feeling that was true. You overcame setbacks, you powered through obstacles, and I will tell you this, because of your hard work and your sacrifice, you were given the greatest honor in sports to represent the United States as an Olympic athlete. That is really an honor. And it's, uh, you have to be so proud in your families. So today, on behalf of the United States, I want to thank every Olympian and Paralympian. And that was just incredible. And what happened with the Paralympics was uh, so incredible and so inspiring to me. And I watched, it's a little tough to watch too much, but I watched as much as I could. It was really fantastic, and I want to thank you. You traveled all the way to South Korea, and you displayed just incredible strength, representing three very beautiful letters, U-S-A. They're three beautiful letters. And I want to thank the members of our delegation who traveled so far on behalf of the United States and who are with us today. First of all, Vice President Pence went there and did a very good job. He was there for a reason, right, Mike? And it was uh, — he did a great job. He always does a great job. And Ivanka, she went there, and it was probably a little different attitude. We had two different attitudes. And Sarah Sanders. Sarah, where are you? They don't — where's that name Huckabee? Don't you put that in the middle? Because your father is so good to me. I love your father. Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And she's doing great. And Marsha Kelly. Marsha, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marsha. My gratitude goes out to South Korea and my real warm feeling for President Moon for being such a gracious host to our delegation. On the occasion of this week's meeting between President Moon and Kim Jong-un, I want to express my hope that all of the people of Korea, North Korea and South, can someday live in harmony, prosperity, and peace. And it looks like it could happen. When I began, people were saying that was an impossibility. They said there were two alternatives. Let them have what they have or go to war. And now we have a much better alternative than anybody thought even possible. I'll be meeting with Kim Jong-un in the coming weeks as we seek to denuclearize the North Korean area and the entire Korean peninsula. Hopefully, the day will come when Olympic athletes can compete on a Korean Peninsula that is free of nuclear weapons and where all Koreans can live together and can share their dreams. It'll be a wonderful thing to do.